Hey everybody, it's Marianne from Thrive Admin and this is your quick tip. I wanted to talk to you today about the difference between a standard or public channel and a private channel in Teams. So as you know, a uh, channel is one of these subfolders. I've got a client here, I've got a, a test client or a test team here and I've got a couple of folders. So a standard channel or a public channel is the one that you would see normally when you create any new channels and they're open for all team members. So anything posted is searchable and by default, all members of a team can create those standard channels. Now you can set some permissions and limit that, but generally what happens is if you allow people to have full access, they'll be able to create those. And they're available for everybody to participate in, in the posts, in the files and any of the other tabs you put in to that particular channel. By, um, comparison, a private channel is where you want to limit the people who have access. So you invite them, you restrict it to invitation only. And a private channel is noted by these little uh, padlocks that go next to the title. And it means that you have to be, it's an invite only to join the private channel. Now, uh, any team owner or team member can create a private channel and then they can add members, but they need to be within your organization. So they can't be a guest from outside guests can't create private channels and you also can't convert private and standard channels into the other things so when you set it up you need to be really clear about what you want it to be is it going to be private or is it going to be public or standard and once you've made that decision and put content in there if you need to change it for any reason you would need to create a new channel and move everything across so um, files that you share in a channel, remember, are, moved, are stored in SharePoint. And so then people who have access to the SharePoint separately would have access regardless of whether they are invited to the channel or not. But inside Teams, you're looking at these little uh, channels that have your uh, padlock on them. If you've got any of those available in your Teams, that's a private channel. And it means that you've been invited in as a specific guest and there may be people in your organization who do not have access.